I'm bringing mail time back. You know the basket, yeah, he's got my back. You see these letters, yeah, I got a stack. Rewind the us begin up the slack. I'm a mailman. You see these letters, baby, understand. They come from New York, LA, and Japan. Yeah, all these letters, right in my hand. Get your sexy out. Hark, ah, Eric Swazinski, bring tidings of great joy, and bestoweth upon thee my rewind mail time. Listen, and thou shalt be comforted. And now I say unto you dudes, the time of the letter is upon us. <laughs> Dear Mail Time, what happens to Mail Time if for some reason you don't receive any letters before your deadline is due? How can you do a segment? Signed, Derek Krasinski. Well, Derek, your question is very interesting and quite apropos for this month. In fact, if not for your letter, I would have had none at all to respond to this month. So thank you for taking the time to write in, Mr. Krasinski. I'm sure you are a very real person and not made up in the least. Well. Anyway, to answer your question, the joy of Rewind Mail Time is the fact that I have general free reign over what I do each month, so in the case that Uncle Jesse forbid I am ever devoid of letters for a month, I can still create something for the show. Please pardon the interruption. If the fire alarm should sound, please disregard unless otherwise directed to be the PA system. I repeat, if the fire alarm should sound, please disregard unless otherwise directed. Thank you. Again, please do not evacuate the building. Disregard the fire alarm unless otherwise directed via the PA system. We apologize for this interruption. Um, that one? Yeah, yeah, no, that one wasn't a real one. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, disregard that one too. Don't evacuate unless otherwise via directed PA system. Thanks. Sorry. So what'd you get for number 12? Uh, delectable. Delectable? Delectable. Delectable. Oops. What are you doing this weekend? That sounds like fun. I think I'm going to go see Charlotte's Web. I've, I mean, my little cousin's been dying to see it ever since I, I mean, you know, she read it in Mr. Ace's class in third grade and broke down while sobbing and hiding in the co room and, like, what? Oh, son of a... Please disregard everything that you just heard. Um, I apologize. Thanks. Bye. All right, that's it. No, no, I'm tired of this. Each time I have to make this dumb announcement because I'm bound by the law, etc., etc. No, no, I'm done. Forget it. Hey, everyone, disregard all the fire alarms for the rest of the day. How's that? You can't do that. Watch me. Disregard away. I have spoken. Thank you, and we apologize for this interruption. Hey, what's a shibboleth? Uh, I think it's some kind of sloth. Really? I guess. Huh. <laughs> No, 
excuse me, the eleventh commandment, obey thy thirst. Well, that just about does it for this month, fortunately for you guys. But I have one last request before I go, and that is, if you have a question, it doesn't even have to be a question, it could be a general wondering mint, send it on into monthly underscore rewind at yahoo.com. I'll put your name on air. Your friends will be so jealous, trust me, it works. And lo, Eric looked upon his work and saw that it was good. And thus he said unto his audience, Happy evening to all, and to all a good night.